Hey there guys, in this video I want to give my thoughts on the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Generation 10 30th Anniversary Edition or the 30th Anniversary Edition ThinkPad. But before we talk about that, I kind of want to show off what ThinkPads used to look like. This is a ThinkPad T420. It has that classic keyboard. It has the seven row keyboard to be exact. It has the dedicated mute button, um, the vol dedicated volume uh, up and down buttons. Um, there is a lot going for this ThinkPad model. It has all of these various different ports, such as a dedicated Ethernet port, display ports, VGA ports. It has an audio port, an optical drive, an SD card reader. Uh, it has the uh, USB drive, the eSATA, e and the security lock. There is so much going on with this ThinkPad, and some ThinkPad users believe that this is one of the various ThinkPad models where it peaked. Um, now, let's go back to the 30th anniversary edition ThinkPad. So, this ThinkPad is quite literally just a X1 Carbon Generation 10 with the ThinkPad logo uh, <laughs> with the classic IBM colors on it, and that's pretty much it. It has fancy packaging. I'm pretty sure that's a couple of extra stickers, but other than that, this is pretty much just an overpriced edition of their most expensive uh, specked out ThinkPad uh, X1 Carbon Gen 10 model. Um, earlier it was $4,600, it seems that they are selling it for $4,200, and I saw a deal where they were selling it at $2,000. Uh, regardless, I would like to say that you should not buy this ThinkPad, because there are definitely better ThinkPads out there that are quite similar and aren't in this price range. Um, and the reason why I preface this video by showing off this ThinkPad and this ThinkPad is because actually five years ago in 2017, Lenovo made a 25th anniversary edition ThinkPad. And this ThinkPad was a T470, which looked like this, but they gave it that classic ThinkPad look. They had already phased out the classic seven row keyboard with a dedicated volume button, uh, mic button, mute switch, etc. Um, but it had that classic keyboard, it had the blue enter key, all of the things that made the ThinkPad special, and yes, it has that ThinkPad logo with the IBM colors on it. Um, so, um, some people ripped on this because rather than being a quad core, it was a dual core, uh, but other than that, um, I would go as far as to say that yes, it was very expensive at $2,000, but it was definitely a more retro anniversary edition than whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> um, now, some people have actually gone as far as to modify the T480 and I think do a motherboard swap. They You have to modify the palm rest, but you can put in that uh, T25 keyboard in the uh, T480. Um, and I'll show some photos right now, but uh, there is a lot of cool modifications that people have done with the T25 parts. They call them Franken pads. Um, I do not think you should buy this ThinkPad specifically because I think that this is a ripoff. It's definitely a collector's edition, and by all means, so was the T25. However, the T25 at least had something going for it. <laughs> uh, it had that classic keyboard, it had those dedicated switches, or those dedicated buttons, um, and because it was a T470, it had the power bridge, etc., uh, etc. Et now, if you wanted to score a T25 for yourself, they actually, you can sometimes find people reselling them for around the its initial price of $2,000, sometimes $1,800 I've seen, which is very expensive. Uh, quite frankly, uh, if you want it, I'd say it's definitely not worth the price, but I'd say you're better off spending $2,000 on that than $4,000 on this. Um, what I did a couple of weeks before this was announced is that I bought one of these little ThinkPad stickers <laughs> from the T25 and I put it on my X1 Carbon Generation 6, which I am recording off of to make this video. 
Uh, I'll leave that in the description. I'll show you photos of my laptop as well. I actually have plans on coloring the enter key blue um, <laughs> and making the power button green, but that's just for cosmetic reasons. Whatever, it's kind of lame, but uh, with that being said, my thoughts on this are that you shouldn't buy it. You should absolutely not buy it. And please, 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 I beg you not to buy it. Um, I'm really excited to see when the 35th anniversary edition ThinkPad is just the stickers for $5,000 and you put it on your own ThinkPad. Thanks for watching this video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I hope I didn't come off too angry. Fuck you, Lenovo. Eat my dick.